contacts with the school. I came and went out with another uh, student at the time, who's a professor here now, named Diego Learman. He took me out as a graduate student and showed me around this, uh, you know, bright-eyed British, pasty-faced, white undergraduate. And I went out on a reef right here uh, off of the northern Florida Keys reef tract to a place called Elkhorn Reef. And Elkhorn Reef was famous because the top of the reef was covered with Elkhorn coral. And I think it's, uh, that's one of the things that really got me interested in corals, but it's also kind of a sad footnote that that reef is now uh, completely devoid of any Elkhorn coral. Uh, all of the Elkhorn coral has, has died off, or, or most of it. And it might be weird to have corals as your favorite animals on a reef. After all, you know, there's all kinds of tropical, brightly colored fish, there's all kinds of starfish. But I mean, for me, corals are just really interesting. They might not appear to do much, but they're building the base of this ecosystem upon which all of those other organisms depend. Before I pulled it into the water, all of these little polyps had their tentacles out, so the colony had kind of a fuzzy appearance. But now that it's out of the water, it's pulling all its tentacles in. I always had a love for the sea. You know, Britain is an island after all. And I always loved being at the, being at the beach with my family, my parents, and playing around in tide pools. And, I was the kind of kid that always looked under rocks and tried to see what would be there. And, and if there was something great there, that would just make me pull over the next rock and the next rock and the next rock. And, uh, you know, I never fell out of love with nature and life. You know, for me, it's the most fascinating thing that goes on on the planet.